American court extraditing Tahaur Hussein Rana is a great victory for India. It is for the first time, according to my knowledge, that American government has heavily relied upon Indian investigating agency's evidence. A U.S. court has consented to the Indian request through the U.S. government for the extradition of Pakistani origin Canadian businessman Tahavur Rana to India, where he sought for his involvement in the 2008 Mumbai terror attack. On June 10th in 2020, India filed a complaint seeking the provisional arrest of 62-year-old Rana with a view towards extradition. The Biden administration had supported and approved the extradition of Rana to India. Rana was arrested in the United States on an extradition request by India for his role in these attacks. The order of American court extraditing Tahaur Hussein Rana is a great victory for India. It is for the first time, according to my knowledge, that American government has heavily relied upon Indian investigating agency's evidence. And I'm glad that when I was conducting the trial against one of the Indians accused, our David Abu Jindal, who was also in the control room, which was constituted in Pakistan during the terror attack of 26 November on Mumbai. David Headley, before the attack, had visited Mumbai. After the attack, had visited Mumbai. He had taken the photographs and he handed over the photographs of the targeted places to the lashkar e -Toyba. David Headley was convicted by American court for 35 years. It was a plea bargain agreement whereby it was agreed between the American government and David Headley that he will not be transferred either to India or Pakistan, but he can give the evidence. By using this plea bargain, we have decided to tender pardon to David Headley and accordingly we have made an approval giving the more detailed scope of the entire criminal conspiracy. David Headley had named Tahaur Hussein Rana because he was, David Headley was guided by Tahaur Rana for opening an office, immigration office in Mumbai. And in persons of, in, in, in following that office, the, uh, David Headley had taken the various photographs of the targeted places. David Headley had given the sensitive revelation disclosing the close links between the lashkar e toiba that is jamaat and that is the uh, that is the pakistan army official david headley has also produced certain email correspondence which was exchanged between lashkar toiba operatives as well as the pakistani people so i think the order of the extradition of tahaur Rana is a very clinching uh, would be clinching evidence uh, so far as